everyone this is rashik jindala i am an educated an academy and you can follow me in an academy learning app where you can find my other courses as well in this lecture we are going to estimate the value of module based on the value of beam strength of the gate with of spar gates and please rate review and share the video and also subscribe to an academy youtube channel so in this lecture we are going to estimate the value of module based on the beam strength of the gates from the past two lectures we have been discussing about the effective load the dynamic load and the beam strength of the gate tooth of spar gates right so this is due to the the dynamic loading actions created uh, at the time of service of the gates right so with the help of these methods we are going to estimate the value of module for the gear so in the lecture about the lewis equation and the bending beam strength of the gate tooth we have found the value for the sb the beam strength given by sb equals to mb into sigma b y where sb is the beam strength of the gate tooth which is in newtons and sigma b is the the permissible bending stress which is which has a unit to divide by millimeter square and y is the levit form factor which is given by y equals to t square by 6 hm where these values t h and m are the dimensions of the gate tooth which has the involute profile so as you can see in this figure t is the the thickness of the gate tooth at the base and h is the perpendicular distance from the base to the tangential force that is pt right and we have the b the length of the gate tooth along the line which is parallel to the axis of the gear and pr is the the radial load acting on the gate tooth okay so the where uh, in this equation we have module m and in order to avoid the breakage of the gate tooth the value of the beam strength should be less than the value of the effective load right so this is the condition which which restricts the breakage of the gate right so we are going to use this relation for the estimation of module value which is a safe value of the module so where the effective load is given by p effective equals to cs by into pt by cv where cs is the the service factor and pd is the, the tangential component of the force acting on the gate tooth and cv is the the velocity factor and the the service factor is given by cs equals to maximum torque by rt torque that is mt maximum by mt so with the help of these equations we are going to find the value of module which is the safest value of module which can res resist the, the breaking loads acting on those gate teeth okay so let's find the value of the the module so we have got the condition to resist the failure that is given by sp greater than p effective right and it is given by sb equals to p effective into fs so we have to introduce a factor of safety which is used to restrict the the breakage of the gate tooth and it will be the the factor of safety which is going to avoid the failure of the gate due to bending actions that is given by sp equals to p effective into fs so the recommended factor of safety is from 1.5 to 2 so we can use the value of factor of safety in the range of 1.5 to 2 and this is the equation used for the design of the gate tooth which can by avoiding the failure of the gate due to the bending acting on the gate tooth due to the comp the tangential component of the the loading acting on the gear while while in the service of power transmission and the motion transmission with the mating gear okay so the tangential component of force acting on the gear is gear to this given by pd equals to 2 mt by d dash right and that is equals to p 2 mt equals to mz so we can replace the value of the p circle diameter d dash with the corresponding value of the product of module and the z the number of tooth on the gear okay so that's why we have 2 mt by mz and we have the value of the module m which will be the safest value and we can replace the value of mt with the value of kw and 2 pi n where n is the speed of the uh, gear and kw is the power should be transmitted by the gear okay so with these conditions we have pt the tangential component of the force acting on the gear is given by 2 by mz into 16 to 10 to the power of 6 into kw pi 2 pi n so we have found this value so with the help of this value we are going to estimate the value of module which has the value that can eliminate or that can avoid the failure of gate tooth due to bending 
So from the equation for the effective load that is given by P effective equals to C S into P T by C V we have 16 into 10 to the power of 6 by pi into K W C S by M Z N C V. So we just have replaced the value of P T with the corresponding value given by this equation. Okay. So that's why we have got the relation for the P effective given by this equation. From the beam strength equation we have S B equals to M B sigma B into Y right. So we can replace uh, this equation with this by multiplying and dividing the value of m that is m square into b by m into sut by 3 into y so we can take the value of sigma b for the beam strength is the as the value of one third of the ultimate strength of the the gear tooth material okay so we have used sigma b the permissible strength the permissible shear stress of the gear tooth is given by sut by so we have these values for the the beam strength m square into b by m into sut by 3 into y where y is the the Lewis form factor okay so so from the above these two equations with these two equations we can calculate the module which is used which is useful for avoiding the failure due to the bending loading acting on the gate tooth okay that is given by m equals to 60 into 10 to the power of 6 by pi into kw cs into fs by z and cv p by m into sut by 3 into y into into y to the power of 1 by 3 this is actually very long equations right so uh, we can remember this value if we know the process behind the derivation of this module value that's why i have presented this derivation in this lecture by the values of p effective and the value of the beam strength of the gate tooth okay so this is very useful de derivation for the value of module which is used to avoid the failure of the gate tooth due to bending loading acting on the gate tooth okay so if you have any situation in any question or the problem if they ask for the calculation of module which can be used to avoid the the failure due to bending loading so in that situation we can use this value that is given by this length e equation and this equation is used in the preliminary stages of gear design. So in the preliminary preliminary stages of gear design, we have used the value of P effective equals to CS into PT by CV. In the final stages, we have introduced a, another value that is PD, which is the dynamic load, right? In the preliminary stages only, we have to use this equation for the module calculations. For other or the final stages, we have to use P effective with another equation where we have the the dynamic load term that is pd that is presented in the lecture about the dynamic load on the gate tooth of the mating gates okay so if you want to know more about that uh, pd the dynamic load you can refer the lecture about the dynamic load and the effective load so this equation is used in preliminary stages so and also this equation is uh, derived from this condition therefore this the module value is used in the preliminary stages of gear design. Okay. Thank you.